गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन दिस इज डॉक्टर सुरेंद्र राठौड़ फ्रॉम सरदार पटेल इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी वेलकम टू द सीरीज ऑफ सीमोस विल एस आई डिजाइन टू बी पर्टिकुलर सीमोस एनालॉग विल एस आई डिजाइन दिस इज लेक्चर वन ऑन एक्सपेक्टेड कोर्स आउटकम्स कोर्स कोड इज ई एक्स एट जीरो वन सीमोस विल एस आई डिजाइन The prerequisites for these courses are like electronic devices, discrete electronic circuits, design with linear integrated circuits, basic VLSI design, and IC technology. You need not know all the details of these courses. However, a little bit of understanding of all these courses will be helpful for understanding this uh, subject matter. However, you need to know the details of uh, MOSFET, particularly the threshold voltage calculations. and how the mosfet has been fabricated and uh, how mosfet can be used uh, etc which you have studied in the prerequisite courses there are two primary objectives of this course number one is to teach analysis and design of building blocks of cmos analog vlsi circuits and number two is to highlight the issues associated with the cmos analog vlsi circuit design so first one deals basically with the different kinds of uh, current mirrors uh, band references then uh, uh, amplifiers single stage amplifiers differential amplifiers operational amplifiers etc and uh, next objective is to have basically understanding of the trade offs involved in design of these various circuits there are six course outcomes expected in this course Course outcome one is a student will be able to recognize trade-offs involved in analog VLSI design circuits, like particularly uh, because there is an octagon, so we need to study a lot of trade-offs. So it has been mapped to program outcome one, which is engineering knowledge, and the Bloom level expected over here is a low level that is comprehension. Then course outcome two is student will be able to analyze basic building blocks of CMOS analog VLSI circuits. so it has been mapped to program outcome 2 which is problem analysis and uh, the bloom's level expected over here is analysis then course outcome 3 is student will be able to evaluate mosfet based single stage and differential amplifier circuits so it has been mapped to program outcome 3 so the bloom's level expected is uh, evaluation then course outcome 4 is student will be able to design mosfet based operational amplifiers It has been mapped to program outcome three, and the Bloom's level expected is synthesis. So program outcome course out sorry course outcome five is student will be able to evaluate mixed signal circuits. It has been mapped to program outcome three, and the Bloom's level expected is evaluation. And course outcome six is student will be able to describe layout techniques for analog circuits. So it has been mapped to program outcome three, which is again evaluation. Thus, this course expects the higher level thinking skills to be developed into the students. In short, there are three program outcomes to be expected at the target level of three, three, and two point two five. That is, engineering knowledge, problem analysis, and design and development of solutions, respectively. Primary mode of content delivery will be classroom teaching with the help of sometimes slides. and uh, self learning out online courses resources will be available to you you can refer them uh, for different modules then there will be a case study carried out in the mid semester erp which has been recently purchased by an institute can be used for sharing the online courses assessment is very important for any course and i would be using uh, different assessment tools like quiz assignment test and uh, direct as well as indirect assessment will be carried out for all the course outcomes for every assessment tool at least uh, for every course outcome at least two assessment tools are used for example co1 will be assessed using quiz and assignment 1 CO2 will be assessed using test, quiz, and assignment two. CO3 will be assessed using test, quiz, and assignment three. CO4 will be assessed using test, quiz, and assignment four. 
CO5 will be assessed using test quiz and assignment 5. CO6 will be assessed using quiz and assignment. All COs will be assessed during Viva OSI examination, which is of 25 marks, and through university examination, which is 80 marks. There will be test 1, which will carry 10 marks on CO2 and 10 marks on CO3. There will be test 2, which will carry 10 marks on CO4 and 10 marks on CO5. At the end of the course, there will be an indirect assessment tool, course exit survey used. Then this course is accompanied with the laboratory course that is EXL at 01. There are seven course outcomes drafted for this course. So number one is student will be able to analyze and discuss trade ops in CMOS analog circuits after successful simulations. It has been mapped to program outcome four and Bloom's level expected is analysis. Then CO2 is student will be able to write SPICE code and simulate MOSFET based analog circuits. It has been mapped to program specific outcome 2 and the Bloom's level expected is evaluation. Then course outcome 3 is student will be able to verify characteristics of MOSFET based analog circuits via simulations. It has been mapped to PO5 that in modern tool uses. Bloom's level expected is evaluation. Then CO4 is students will be able to solve the issues by troubleshooting the CMOS analog circuits. It has been mapped to program specific outcome 1 that is related to troubleshooting and the Bloom's level expected is evaluation. Then CO5 is student will be able to create scientific document for the experimentation carried out. It has been mapped to program outcome 10 and the Bloom's level expected is synthesis. Then CO6 is student will be able to demonstrate the desire for learning by carrying out activity for the content beyond syllabus in the VLSI analog domain. It has been mapped to lifelong learning that is PO12 and Bloom's level expected is synthesis. And finally CO7 is student will be able to draft the research paper as per the scientific standard. It has been mapped to program specific outcome 3 who and the Bloom's level expected is synthesis. In summary. The laboratory course deals with various program outcomes and program specific outcomes. So program outcome 4 is investigation of complex problems as has a target level of 3. Then PO5 is a modern tool uses target level of 3. PO10 is a communication. It has been uh, targeted as level of 3. Then PO12 is a lifelong learning. Target level is a week that is 1. Then PSO1 that is uses of open source tools, target level is 2, PSO2 that is troubleshooting is the highest target level that is 3 and the PSO3 is a moderate target level 2 that is drafting of research paper. Most of delivery primarily will be simulations and demonstrations along with some self online courses and ERP will be used for sharing the resources. There are two assessment tools. The direct assessment tool will be the gradation of the laboratory work and the indirect assessment tools are course exist surveys and also performance indices based rubrics evaluation. And there will be viva versa examination at the end of the semester. So primarily this is an entire summary of the gradation policy for the theory as well as the laboratory course. Other guidelines for the students are you are free to give valuable feedback regarding the course at any point of time. Please don't expect spoon feeding in this course. Maintain the academic honesty in completing the lab experiments and assignments. Maintain the professional ethics, particularly deadlines for the assignments and the laboratory experiments. Fast learners and interested students can come forward for learning beyond syllabus in terms of mini projects and case studies. References for this course are Beza Drazavi, Design of Analog and CMOS, Analog CMOS Integrated Circuits. This is the primary reference for the course. Then for experimentation, you can use CMOS circuit design, layout and simulation by the Jacob Baker. For operational amplifier part, you can use CMOS analog circuit design by Allen and Holberg. And to supplement this books you can also use analog and design of analog integrated circuits by Gray, Mayer, Levis and Hurst. Other resources like IEEE transactions and PTL videos, 
cmosedu.org can be used with this course. Thank you and best of luck.